1993. 1993 is a Thursday. Tommy McHugh was mysteriously awakened in middle life to a talent he never knew he had. It's hard for me to switch off the brain. I can't switch it off with sleep or rest. It's constantly thinking of ideas and creating. George and Tommy offer scientists a way into understanding the normally elusive workings of our own brains. Some scientists even believe that there are similar fragments of genius lurking within us all. I might have a way of tapping into these hidden skills, which I believe must be within us all. George Widener is on his way to New York's Columbia University to demonstrate his remarkable brain. My birthday is December 21st, 1975. 1975, oh, that was a Sunday. Um, this year is going to be on Friday. 11th July, 1980. 11th July, oh, that was a Friday. In just seconds, George can calculate the day of the week for an unlimited range of dates. My birthday, 8th of April, in 5,372. 5,372, um, it's Wednesday. <laughs> but you better celebrate it now, because we'll all be dead. At his home in Asheville, North Carolina, George works into the night, drawing elaborate calendars. I'm listing all the Mondays for the next 500 years, the next 26,000 Mondays. Before bed, he reads not a novel, but printed sheets of population figures. This city is 68,889 people. The odd thing about Asheville is that if you subtract Harvey, Illinois, which is a flat 30,000, which is the only one I've seen like that, then you get um, the exact population of Burlington, Vermont, 38,889. <laughs> uh, 2470 and 7074. December 5th, 24,070. That's a Friday. Numbers follow George wherever he goes. 7074, it's a Saturday. He finds comfort in them. Saturday. December 5th, 690 AD. He considers them his friends. It feels relaxing. It's like um, music, you know. Music is its like numbers that are happening really, really fast in your head. I came here first time in 1784, when the county established December 5th, 1791. is today. George says no one ever taught him how to calculate calendars. In fact, he insists he's not calculating at all. I don't have no formulas or no no kind of thing, but I kind of push and pull inside my head. It feels like more like I'm lining things up. Like if you lined uh, objects up in a row, that feels like that, sort of like I'm just going through and lining them up. George's skill is phenomenal, but it comes at a cost. He suffers from a form of autism, a brain disorder that leads to awkwardness and social isolation. I was never a person to be able to socialize in a... I went uh, like two months. I remember one time, I didn't hardly speak to anybody. As a child, school was a place of fear and dread. But a chance encounter at his grandmother's house when he was seven changed his life. I'm standing in the living room and looking up at this calendar and um, just the uh, sort of the magic of the, the rows of numbers or something. And um, it, was, it was something that was very powerful for me. And then I'd sort of like, uh, I, could, I found out I could look ahead and I'd sort of know, you know, which day it was and it was just natural.